Happy New Year, guys. Happy New Year's. What's the what's, what's the correct way of saying it? Happy New Year, Happy New Year's. Happy, my, it didn't sound so, never mind. So I hope everybody had a good Christmas. I know I did. Well, really more, my kids did. Parents, we just, we just spent all our money for our kids and lived through them and their happiness. Um, my New Year's was uneventful. Let's just say a lot of unexpected things happened, but we were safe. Home with nothing to do. Let's just hope that doesn't happen again. Now for this video, guys, this is a bit of a transformation video. I think this is my first transformation video. This is my first transformation video. I'm pretty freaking excited now. All right, so for this video, it's a transformation video. One of my clients, Byron, uh, maybe he didn't want me to tell you his name, but now you know. I'm not telling you his last name or his social. So Byron, he was meaning to get his hair cut off like a week or two prior to this actual haircut. And as I was prepping up to cut it off, I just said it. I was like, damn, bro, I wish you would have just told me and I would have recorded it. I would have, I would have, I would have, you know, made sure I had some extra time because these things do take time, guys. Byron said, you know what? I'm going to hold off to the next one. Just taper me off. I tapered him off. Fast forward this video. It went down. There were some struggles. So for the tools that I'm going to be using on this video, even though I've kind of tweaked it, actually today I've tweaked them a little bit. So there's certain things that I have included in these tools that I'm about to show you that weren't the same when I originally recorded this video. So just, just work with me. I will be using these uh, skeleton trimmers and they're hitting. Actually, before I cut him that day, I think maybe a few days before, uh, I readjusted them because let's just say I was out here doing surgery on people's foreheads, particularly Nate across from me, the one with the, the worms on his head, AKA dreads, nothing against people with dreads. It's just Nate, so I gotta, you know, you know how it is in the shop. We gotta talk about each other. What else did I use? I have two magic clips. One has the fade blade. The other one has a babless blade. It's not a fade blade, but it's a babless blade with a curve on it. But the thing about putting a babless blade on a, on a wall is that the bottom bottom blade is kind of loose so what I was doing for months was I would just use the wall bottom blade this is a way better term for this the cutting blade the cutting blade ah so I was using the wall cutting blade because it I, obviously it fits perfectly well you know but I figured something out recently actually today but I haven't used it and it and it sounds great so I can't wait to use it um, I also use the seniors, guys. Recently today, I added the fade blade to it, and um, I, it's not the same blade that I use on that video. I'm super excited to use this. Very excited. You don't even know. Like, really, really excited. I can't wait. And of course, the masters. Recently, I was kind of struggling with the lever. I bought these maybe three months ago, and it was great in the beginning, and all of a sudden, it was just loose, like to the point that when you're fading, the blade would move. That's bad. I figured it out though. You have to take this blade off, and then you have to like tighten up those screws. There's four screws under this blade. You just have to tighten up just a little bit. You don't want to do too much because you just can't move it. You don't want that. What else? I mean, the, everything else is pretty self-explanatory. You guys know what this is, huh? That? Yeah, I use that. We don't need to talk about guards. You guys know about guards. You see that? I use some shave gel too. And, uh, ooh. I use this too. Damn, I made a mess. You guys know what this is, right? Tupac had it in above the rim. Funny what you do pick up though. Man, things must have been rough because no. Now guys, a lot of us have a, a few guilty pleasures. Before we get this started, uh, I have to, uh, I don't know why I like peanut butter. I used to hate it when I was a kid, but enough about that. Let's get started. All right, now here we go. This is where it gets real, ladies and gentlemen. You have to get to picking. When you're dealing with somebody that has tight curls like Byron here, when you pick it out, it's gonna sound like you're biting into an apple. Base. Now right here, I'm, I'm grabbing the number three guard and I'm just chopping away. I'm going the safe route too, guys, cause I mean, you don't know what's underneath there. I never cut this man's hair short. So I'm just going the safe route. 
he wants to have waves and to get to the waves you have to open the flower the flower that's why i'm doing it like that aside from the fact that i just wanted a dope thumbnail Nat, going to the night look at that look at that my man was oh <laughs> my man was surprised this is dope i don't even know how many months of growth this was it possibly was like four five maybe six i don't know and look guys you want to be careful uh, again you know let's take the safe route e even towards the front edge you don't know if there's any calyx so start with a high guard work your way down comb the hair out again i'm playing the safer i think this is a number two guard look at that Honestly, I feel at this point, I was just wasting time. I was I was playing, playing it way too safe. One and a half, look at that. We going at it, we going at it. Not stopping, boom, next card. Number one, let's get it. Rakata. Here we go, here we go. Speed it up, please, because this does take a while. If you, you know, I can't do regular time for y'all. I would like to, but it's just not gonna happen. Um, That GoPro action is nice, though. It's nice, though. All right, zoom it in, baby. Close the guard up. Here we go. You want to go tighter around the edge line. I probably went tighter than that. I don't even know why I just stopped it at the number one. Yeah. And look, stop, stop it real quick on the one and a half. Check this out. Towards the end, I was looking around at the cut. I wasn't satisfied with how it was looking when I was just going with the grain. So towards the end, I just said, to hell with this, I'm gonna go against the grain. I don't, cause you know, when you're when you're thinking about a person that wants to have waves, the, the cardinal rule for waivers, as far as when you get a haircut, is you go with the grain, right? I mean, you can go against the grain cause there's ways around it. If you go against the grain though, you gotta go with a higher guard cause you know, if you go with the same length that you would originally go with the grain, you might as well say bye bye to them waves. You feel me? Uh, but right here, since he doesn't have waves, I say, Byron, look, bro, I don't like how it's looking. It looks like it's slightly darker in certain areas than others. You know, I just said, look, man, in a very professional way, if you let me go against the grain, which I knew he was gonna let me go against the grain, but you gotta, you know, you know. I told him, look, it's gonna be a better option if we go against the grain, I'll get an even cut, because in my heart, I felt that it would look better. And when you say it with conviction, y'all, they'll feel it here, here. So he let me. Man, this was like, ugh. I'm just going at every angle. I'm trying to figure this out, guys. We're figuring this out together and look at what we got here. We got the phone, the setting lotion. Shout outs to uh, 360 Wave Process. Brought that brush over here since, you know, I'm not waving anymore. I gotta do something with the brushes. Oh, we getting started, y'all. We getting started. Balding him out he wanted that low fade and i'm not gonna lie low face to me to, to this day could be a bit of a of a stressful situation i've never really liked low fades recently though since i've been asked to do it more eh, you know like we're uh we have it all the way closed this was this was tough this was tough for me but most cuts to me in the in the inner dialogue for me is ah! that's my inner dialogue sorry for those that 
had headphones on. But that's really my inner dialogue. Like, I'm freaking the hell out for the cuts that I haven't done before on a client. That's my inner dialogue. But you gotta work, you gotta work through that, you know? You gotta, you gotta be your best cheerleader. You know what I'm saying? Cause there's some crappy cheerleaders out here and you wanna be the best cheerleader for yourself. Cheer yourself on. Anyways, right here, we're still working on this damn, t <laughs> on this damn section. Oh my God, this took an eternity. Damn. We just fading that thing out as best as, as, best as we can. <sighs> Come on, Fonz. Come on, Fonz. We could do this. See, this is the inner dialogue. Come on. Come on. After the screaming, this is what you do. We could do this. We could do this. I don't even know why I'm saying we. I. About to get started. Here we go. I think this is the number one guard. All the way open. Yes. Here we go. All the way open. This is where you, oh my goodness, it got even more tougher. And I'm like, man, this is not going nowhere. Number one, it's barely doing anything. I close that, that sucker up, try to take as much as I could off, and then I got, I, I, <laughs> I even grabbed the brush. So I'm like, yo, it's not working. <laughs> and is that the zero? Did I switch to zero yet? I think it is, yeah. I think it is. Try to fade it out, open, close. I was like, Doof. good Lord. Mm. You gotta keep your cool though as a barber. You gotta keep, oh, see that was still the, that was still the, the one that we were on. Now we're on the zero. Now we're on the zero. And you see, you see the, you see the speed. I'm, I'm going in there. I'm like, come on now, come on. Fade it out, fade it out. Faded out. Stay calm. Look. Oh, and this. See, you know, sometimes you know we're listening to certain things. I think that we probably had a Netflix movie on or something. Oh, I remember what we were watching. We we're watching um Coach Carter. I haven't seen that in forever. Made me feel super old because that's when crunk music was popping. Shout out to all the people that like crunk music back in the day. So I still do. If you go to the gym, guess what I like to listen to? Crunk Juice. Put down in the comment section if you know the three artists that were on that. Okay, so right here, this is where, this this part really didn't make no damn sense to me. So I'm trying to fade this section, the back of the head out. It's hard. You kind of want to raise the fade a little bit more in the back because it looks darker. And I choose to backtrack and go back down to the half guard because I'm like, yo, it still looks dark. Oh my goodness, this is a stressful situation mentally. Mentally, it's like, wow, see, you see me, I'm like, oh my God, it's still there. It's still there, Fonz. Fade away. Fade away. Look, what the hell I brought the one and a half guard for? <laughs> oh my goodness. Look, and I could look, I could have easily not shown this or even share my dialogue, my inner dialogue, that is. And man, this is really what goes through my head. I could cut. I just don't have the best system in place yet. My mind is a clutter, guys. Jay hits finna drop a f bass. Yet again, there it is, the one and a half guard. What the hell, Fonz? Put it away, just put it away. There's no need to use it, you're wasting time. Look, he's like, Fonz, this doesn't make sense. That's the face of an awkward moment. All right, here we go. We got a little hairspray right now. Little hairspray, you know. Brush it down, brush it down. Oh my God, it's still bulky, but let's not focus on that. Let's not focus on that right now because I'm not done yet. We're focused on this edge, on this edge up, okay? Let's just focus on this edge up. See, sometimes you just gotta keep working because if you stay on that one thing, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna get so frustrated, you're gonna wanna quit. Obviously, you're gonna not quit. I hope you don't quit, but you just gotta move on and come back to it. So, we're just gonna work on this, 
on this uh, hairline. I just got rid of the Dracula hairline. He had the, that little, that little, and we're just tapping away. A little tap. You don't want to dig in. Just tap, tap, tap. The way my, my trimmers are set, they're not zero gap. But they're to the point where I just tap away. We're just scraping away a little bit at a time. Boom, 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 boom. Scrape, tap, tap, scrape. Look at that. And with the hairspray, it gives you a little bit of contrast. You see the little white ash. Nothing drastic. Nothing, and I don't have anything against anybody that wants a very aggressive not a very aggressive but slightly more aggressive white ash line hey whatever works for you i just i'm not there yet but i will be I, i'm i'm, I'm kind of interested in doing and using the pencils the the uh, the magic pencils i think that they're, they're called um i just i need to pick up my speed in order to start using those J hits finna drop a bass here when I do my lineups with the blade I, I prefer the blade to be exposed um I don't like it that exposed when I do a mustache area especially if a person has very very coarse hair and by coarse I mean super thick like the diameter of the hair strand is very thick um at that point I need the blade to be a, a little bit more stable when it's that exposed and you're dealing with a whole lot of pull the blade starts moving and it's not it, you, you might cut somebody I've cut somebody before doing that you know but if it's if it's little little bit of detail work I'm okay with exposing it because that's all you need it for is detail work and I like it exposed because it, it gives me the ability to see what I'm doing and not take away more than I need here it is guys right here this is where we do detail work I lined it up and when you line your client up you're framing your work and by framing your work you can see what needs to be taken away to make it look even better and right here we're floating through the head we're getting those stragglers and right there as you can see there's still some stuff to take away and I'm just just doing a little detail work yeah using my corners have the blade all the way open and yeah I felt like that was good enough I, I I felt like that was I felt like that was good I felt like that was a good haircut and Byron liked it I was happy he was happy I don't know you guys let me know on the comments below Thank you so much. Alright brother, happy
Nieuwe.